Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hey, welcome to the Salvation Army Thrift Store Tour in Brentford, Ontario. This is located on Jering Cross Road. Um, it's a fairly good sized store and we're going in. It's a brief overview that we start with on this one and we're into the hard goods. The magpie eye catches colors and here we are we're looking at some others these look like Italianish uh, pasta plates and then we've got this East German plate set German Democratic Republic so it tells you it's a got a bit of age it has some interesting pattern on the surface plus a uh, colorful patterning on this in the glaze itself these are an interesting go with their part they're, those plates were $8.99 for the set but these plate these cups aren't part of that set I thought they were initially and they're not they have they're part of a set that has is somebody's 40th wedding anniversary as you can see on this creamer In addition to that, we find that there is a card left behind by the donor from the donation telling you who it was and from 2001. There's the bottom of it. It's nothing in particular, but having 40 written on each of the cups is not making it <laughs> useful for very many people. I guess I'm getting close to that point, but anyway. Then we've got these others. They're also, these are the others, yeah. And then we have the ruffles that are here. They're not a bad price at $9.99 for the set. I'm not looking for any. I uh, don't have all the soup bowls. They're a ruffle, fairly contemporary. And these are our tour over to the cart they left that's not been placed on the shelves. It's got some cast iron on the bottom. I'm always looking cast iron. I already have one like this, so I, but I always see if it's a better one than I already have. I don't remember seeing a price tag on that, nor on the, those. Those two had wood handles. They're not as good because you can't put them into the oven at that point. Some hardware. And bathroom items of all sorts. Small appliances for the, for the home. Bit of an office section on the right. And here we are out of the office section. Interesting little piece for a granddaughter, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's for someone who's a pretty well newborn for the size it is. In any case, I'm, I may have taken it over to show Westwood Avenue in case she was interested in it for some reason. And a few clocks, table clocks. I keep my eyes on these things now and then. The metal goods, all kinds. Some are decorative, some are practical. 
at least the Dollarama items cost less than they do at Dollarama. We have a few of these around already for uh, summer use. They'll be part of a front, front garden display. Some more clocks. These are along the window that's on the street side. And then we take a look at some of this other stuff here. Ah, oh, yes, the glassware was there. Nothing obviously caught the eye there. What would happen, you would be going in there. Here we're going across the store to the opposite end, past all the clothes. There's men's, women's, children's. And there's a bit of hard goods, decorative stuff here with a, an African mask. Well, whether it's African or South American is almost irrelevant. 1999, probably a, a tourist piece in any case. And that's the glass cabinet where they keep the jewelry and stuff. And we we'll always take a quick look to see if there's any jackets or coats that are good. Uh, okay, there's some other hard goods on top. Ah yes, the Wari game. As introduced to us by our friends in Antigua. Let's see how much that was. I think it was $4.99 if I got it right. Yep, $4.99. Not a complicated game. It doesn't have the game pieces, but you don't need anything specific for them. It could be stones, pearls, rocks, whatever. This red purse caught my eye. I'm not entirely sure why I got fixated on it, but took a close examination. It looked like leather, but I'm not entirely sure it was at this point. Now, closer examination. I don't think it was, and at $20, it certainly was not of any interest unless you're buying it for yourself. Even then it's pushing the limits on what you should be paying on the, that kind of stuff, in my humble opinion. Children's footwear. And here we are looking for the ubiquitous Hawaiian shirts. There was one there. And there was an, but they weren't all in the same place. It was interesting that way. They ended up in a couple of different locations in this, store it may be that it was just this one size was on one group of sizes was on one side of the rack and the other sizes were on the other side of the rack I think this is the one I did pick up it's the one you see in my in the uh, <coughs> avatar there's a few others here oh this is the one then one of these ones. I think this is the one that became the avatar basis of it anyway. And another one. The prices here are a little bit better than some of the other places I've shown in, in previous videos. As I've also said in the past, uh, ah yes, another one. I don't necessarily show the portion of the time when I'm actually doing the shopping. This is a period of time when I tend to do the touring of the store. I focus back on it later so I can take my time and not have to fumble around with equipment. And back into the children's area. Here we have a whole collection of Kodak slide equipment. We return to after we look at the toys briefly. A nice big steamer trunk, square topped versus the curved top. Nice looking condition. I'm not looking for one now. I have enough of them at the moment to handle what I need to deal with. There was an interesting game here. Of it's called Bridge. Way overpriced in my opinion. And this whole collection probably would have of Kodak equipment and accessories. I think it would have added up to better part of a hundred dollars. I think it was a bit steep, but maybe that's 
where it, where it's gone. <clears throat> a nice looking mixer on a cart that hasn't been placed on the shelves yet. And finally just 